On these hot summer days when the lakes are crowded, you looking for somewhere to go fish? Check this out. Don't break me off. Hey guys, sometimes on those dog days of summer when the lake's crowded with a bunch of pleasure boaters and it's just miserable out on the water on the lakes, sometimes you gotta go to places like the Green River in Kentucky and chase some smallmouth. Uh, today I take you out on Memorial Day weekend when the lakes are crowded, but I'll tell you what, this river is smoking hot, so stay tuned. Sometimes you just gotta make the cast and just figure out how to get the fish out afterwards. There we go. Little small mouth. Little small mouth here. First one of the day. Get the get the skunk out of the boat. Nice little nice little small mouth there. Let's let him go. All right, so got out here now, so I'm gonna put this cover back on so I don't end up with a bunch of water in here. All right guys, so this is my first time having uh, my native Slayer Max Propel out in a, you know, a body of water with some real flow to it, so on the green river today i actually caught a fish back there which was number one and now kind of want to fish this shade line here with this whopper plopper and see if i can't pick up anything oh missed him he came up after it. Let's try it again. Let's try to get back in there. That's a nice one. try one more cast we're going to try to hit it back with that ned rig or something like a tube there we go there we go yeah buddy that's a nice little ah oh, daggone it all right my heart's a pumping now I got the fever. I got the smallie fever. Let's try not to get my rod stuck in here. Now, there are musky in this stream, so if you hear me scream like a girl when I catch a fish, it's probably because I caught a musky and I have never caught one in my entire life. And they're in here. Got some nice smallmouth too. There we go. Little guy, but hey, it's a fish. 
Hmm, little one. Drop him back in the water. So guys, as I said before, this is Memorial Day weekend and uh, I am a veteran and uh, Memorial Day is for those that we lost, um, for the ones that didn't make it back home. And uh, part of the reason why I really want to come out here and do this kind of in solitude was I really like to relax and reflect on all those people that, you know, I personally knew that we lost and, you know, all the people we lost in general but um, especially for those ones that I personally knew so if you guys want to stay tuned till the end of the video I'm gonna do a little bit of a tribute to some of the people that I knew and uh, that didn't make it back home to their families and I feel so blessed to live in this country it's not perfect but you can you know set the politics aside and just remember that you know these soldiers you know airmen sailors, marines, you know, they all signed a blank check to defend this country and some of them ended up having to cash that check and didn't make it home. So stay tuned till the end and uh, check that out. All right, boys, it's snack time. It's snack time. One of my favorite snacks to bring out is the old beef jerky. beef jerky here my friend it's good and gather target brand beef jerky is pretty good I got some jerky in my mouth I got some prime habitat through here so we got some good little spots over in here probably holding a small mouth I'm gonna stick with the Ned rig because of all the current there's got to be at least a couple fish in this little area here, so we're gonna fish it pretty thoroughly. There we go. That's a nicer one. Come on. Come on, we gotta play it in this current. That's a nicer one. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's a little bit nicer one there. There we go. Oh, little guy. Hey, you gotta catch the little ones to get the big ones. Let them go. Oh. and go down here this little hole that way we can switch up there's got to be a fish right there that water drops off There we go. I knew it. I knew there would be a fish there. He freaking hammered that. As soon as it came over. I mean, about jerked the rod out of my hand. Another nice little fish. We'll let it go. I knew there had to be one. And if you look at that, what we're going to analyze here is why. Um, if you look at this, you got, I don't know if y'all can see, but you've got a gravel shelf right here and then it just drops off into like deep water. I'm guessing where that tree is. And as soon as that bait went over that ledge, 
that fish grabbed it. So let's let that fish go. Get back in there. And we're going to try to catch another one. Ah, keep moving, man. This is a smallmouth heaven, though. I love these little tubes, man. Tell you what. One got it there. Might have been a small one. But these little tubes, man, they're just freaking dynamite. There we go. God. I pulled that out of there. I think I had a bite. Look at that. He is lively. He came up and snagged it as I was pulling it out of there. I thought uh thought I got a bite and I pulled it and then I dropped it but right before I started to reel it in and he came up and whacked it. Another one. That's a little rock bass. A little rock bass. Oh, quick release. Oh. Little rock bass. That was a muskie. Nope, that's a big old smallmouth. Yeah! Come on! It's one hook. Oh, he's barely hooked. Come on. Woo! Solid! Yeah, buddy. Dang. Let's let that one go. That's a nice fish. Little rock bass. Barely even got the hook, man. Go. Right. My rock bass. It's chock full of these suckers. Like, I don't even know how many fish I've caught. I've completely lost track. I really think that I accidentally even didn't get some on video because I've been too excited about catching fish. A rock bass. Let's get up through here. You're going for a ride, Mr. Rock Bass.
through there. All right, so let's get this little rock bass off here. All right, there's another fish. Got lost him. I was scratching, fixing myself, and friggin' missed him. Surprised the smallmouth was back in there. This old guy. A little spot. I ain't going it. I need to sharpen that hook or something. That's two in a row. Your mouth was bigger, well, your eyes were bigger than your mouth. So they say, little rock bass. I decided to switch up there because I fished through this section with a uh, with a net and a tube, and then I had also fished that whopper plopper earlier. And when I was pulling that tube, I went to go reel it back in. I got a short strike from a smallmouth, so figured I'd try this little square bill and see what I could do. Howdy. I caught catching a bunch, but like a couple good ones. They all were in really deep pools. Really deep, deep holes next to wood. But like in the current, I catch a bunch of small ones, but they're fun. It's all about having a good time, right? Have a good day. Got one off that pile over there. And he swam back underneath of it too. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a long Let's weigh him or her. One pound, 13 ounces. That one seems longer and more slim than that other one was. All right, let's let this one go. Thank you there, fish. Give me your poops. <laughs> I tell you what, guys. I think I made the right choice today because, gosh, this has been killer, man. I'll tell you what, I have not been this pumped fishing for a while like these smallies are friggin insane i love fishing for them and i knew that lake was going to be crowded today and getting out here on the river was the right choice um man i've just had a great day and i appreciate you guys watching and tuning in with me and if you all get a chance i'll tell you what um, check out kentucky blue water trails on kentucky department of fish and wildlife I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm at, like on this uh, stretch of river, but I will say they have maps on there with put-ins and stuff. And I'll tell you what, Green River is amazing. Um, it's just, it's, it's great. It's been a lot of fun.
I knew you were in there. I knew it was in there. Put that on that little uh, bitsy bug. Well, guys, I want to say, uh, number one, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, caught a lot of these guys today and uh, had a great day on the water. So appreciate you guys coming along with me. Let's let this one go. It's got a little blood. All right. There she goes. So appreciate you guys coming along with me. Hopefully you all enjoyed uh, watching me out here on this river, new stretch of the river that I've been on today. And uh, I had a great time, caught a lot of fish and had a really just good time. I was really on the fence today on where I was going to go and what I was going to do. I did not know what the water conditions were going to be like down here. I didn't know if it was going to be deep enough for my pedal drive. So my contingency was if I came down here and it was too much of a hassle, then I was going to go to the lake. But man, I'm so thankful that the water level is where it is and everything worked out the way that it could. So um, everything was awesome today and uh, talk about a great day, beautiful day. Um, really didn't see, maybe saw like eh, probably like 10 people uh, floating this such stretch of the river. So been a great day. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, guys, get outside, do something awesome. Take somebody with you if you get a chance and comment down below um, with one of your favorite rivers to fish, if you want to say it, and or one of your favorite baits for fishing when you're fishing streams. And I will see you guys in the next one.